So let's say we've got a geometric distribution with p as 0.25. Find the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, now what does that mean? Um, so that would mean that if I was playing a game and the probability of success was 0.25, I would be looking at the probability that I win the game within the first three attempts. Okay, so that means I want the probability of winning on the first attempt plus the probability of winning on the second attempt plus the probability of winning on the third attempt. So the probability of winning on the first attempt is 0.25. Okay, so if you think of it like... Um, like a probability tree, essentially I've got winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, losing. This is the probability that I win on the first attempt. That's 0 0.25. Or I lose and then win. Or I lose, then lose, then win. So I've got 0 0.25 plus the probability of winning on the second attempt is 0 0.75 times 0 0.25. And the probability of winning on the third attempt is 0 0.75 squared times 0 0.25. Okay, so uh, we have 0 0.25 plus 0.75 times 0.25, plus 0.75 squared times 0.25. And that gets me 37 over 64, or 0.578125. Okay. Now, this is going to become a little cumbersome if I start wanting to find the probability of x being less than or equal to 10, or something like that. Um, I don't really want to have to write out all of that. So is there a way of me being able to shortcut this? Okay, well, we know that from discrete probability distributions that less than or equal to 3 must be 1 take away the probability of x being greater than 3. Essentially, if you've got your number line... And you're starting at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. If you want less than or equal to 3, which is those 3, then it is the same as doing 1, which is all of them, take away the bit you don't want, which is greater than 3. So all of those. Now, the problem is that you might be thinking, well, surely that complicates the problem because greater than 3, 4, 5, 6, is all the way up to infinity, right? I can't, I can't actually work out all of those and add them all together. But let's have a think about what this means. What does the probability of x being greater than 3 actually mean? Well, that means that I don't win any of my first three games. Okay, The first win is going to come after three games. So this is the same as me saying, well, I lose my first three games. So the probability that I lose my first three games has got to be 0.75 cubed. So 1 take away 0.75 cubed is 37 over 64, 0.578125. Now, this one can be quite difficult to kind of get... Um, in your head, um, it conceptually, it doesn't look like it should work. Um, 
But essentially what you are saying is that if I want the probability of x being greater than 3, that's the probability that I win my first attempt after the first three games have been played. So that means that must be that I lose my first three games. Because this is the probability of x being equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all of those added together. OK, so that's got to be that I lose my first three games. So this enables you to work out cumulative probabilities relatively quickly.